Hello students, welcome to Odysseal. In this video, we are going to discuss about oh, one of the examples of the easy reductions, named as like oh, the close pair of points reduces to the sort. Okay, means using sort, we are finding out the closest pair of points. Before that, we should know what is closest pair of points. I've just kept an example like how to find it out. It's use uh, you can say the problem will have certain design approach okay like we are finding out the solutions using certain designing approach the closest pair of points is using divide and conquer okay so before that we should know like what is closest pair of point and why it is needed in general sense I'm just talking about suppose you think uh, the flights are exactly moving on the top of us we don't know exactly how it is getting controlled okay might be it is controlled by some controller or might a people group of people are there who are controlling the paths and everything so if if we do not have any controller might be collide could be occurred okay collision between them could be occurred okay so might be the flights are flying you can say from a left to right here and might be from a right to left one flight is coming okay so how do they change their path clear so if they are nearby or they are closer and closer enough they might change their directions then how do we know the flights are moving here and there they have their own path no doubt not an issue for us but if certain things arises how do we inform okay how do we predict like they are going to be closer enough might be the collision could be occurred so for such scenarios there might be other examples too which is easy for us to understand that example i'm just delivering like might be to find the pair of points like these are two different points if you can think there are two different uh, aeroplanes or might be any objects are coming towards okay we want to avoid for the collision then we should think how closer they are in that sense if you'll inform them they might change their own path this is what exactly we can do or it's what they can do with their uh, you know might be through uh, communications wireless communication they can interact with themselves and they can change it but we should know what is the minimum distance between them or might be there are different points on a plane how do we know what is the minimum distance or which pair of points are having minimum distance if you want to find it out so there might be brute force approach for brute force approach each point will have to uh, you know check with other points like for one uh, as it is just a prerequisite for you to understand for brute force means also uh, starting approach means you can say just an approach through which we are finding the solution okay so for the brute force approach if you want to find the minimum distance between the lines or between the points on a plane for each point suppose one point you want to find it out with the n number of so n minus one number of times it has to check means for one uh, point it will check up to n minus one number of times for n it will also check for n into n minus one number of times which is big of n square this is what the brute force approach is providing this is for brute force approach i'm just writing brute force brute force approach is providing us the time complexity as big o of n square to reduce that researchers have thought for divide and conquer approach what they thought like they have to segregate into two different halves okay means two different the plane is segregated into two different halves each different half if it segregated it like as we have already studied in divide and conquer approach so as we further divide one by one like you know just considering the division if division is more conquer could be faster okay like as we are taking the food might be the food is uh, bigger than our mouth okay so we are taking the chunks which can be chewing by us this is what the divide in then conquer then combine clear this is i have already told you those who are new again i'm just telling you please watch the divide and conquer approach through which you can easily understand like how it is helpful and why we are following that one okay once we are dividing 
the n which is the plane is getting divided into n by 2 n by 2 this side n by 2 that side so for each plane we are just dividing within that we are finding suppose 21 is a distance we found and here 12 is a distance we found once the minimum with two different half we are finding out next what we are introducing delta which is a threshold you can think this is a threshold for us why because out of this two minimum we are trying to find out which one is a minimum through which we can find out if suppose here as per the example it is 21 and here it is 12 that we know if we are using minimum function the minimum is 12 so our target is whether the 12 is really minimum for us or not how do we know like here we are not comparing with this point to that point clear might be certain points could be possible through which we can expect the less than 12 that is why we are finding the closest pair of points okay this is what our target is if we found delta is minimum as 12 if both are same 21 we can take 21 also as a minimum here we found 12 then what we did like from the mid of which exactly we have taken as a mid from that we have taken 12 this side and 12 that side within that we are taking a range within this range we are trying to find out which one is having the minimum how do we found like 12 is minimum is there any other uh, you know distance or any other uh, you can say pair of points is possible less than 12 or not that is what our target is once we found with this delta which is threshold for us so we again applied the divide and conquer approach here the points uh, are numbered like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are numbered okay so then again we tried for the divide and conquer once we did it like we may find the uh, you can say a pair of points which is minimum this is what uh, the closest pair of points we are finding the main reason of finding the closest pair of points is the minimum distance between two different points on a plane okay on a particular plane we are finding out the minimum distance and in real life example as i told you to avoid collision between two different flying objects okay uh, there might be any other uh, real life examples too clear so what exactly our target is we are uh, trying to solve the closest pair of points using sort this is what uh, it represents okay using sorting techniques we are finding the closest pair of points as our target is to find the minimum uh, distance between two different points or minimum length between two different points the definition it is written the closest pair of points or closest pair problems ask to find the pair of numbers within a set that have a smallest difference between them which i told you it is written okay we can make it a decision problem decision problem is a problem like where we are getting either yes or no this is what a decision type of problem it is writing like decision problem by asking if this value is less than some threshold so for that what exactly we are having input output is always common input is a set s where n number of you can say uh, n number of points are there and threshold is decided as t means less than t if you are getting it means which i told you the delta okay if it is less than t we are picking those uh, points as our minimum points or closest pair of points for us okay so output should be is there any pair s i s j which belongs to set s okay the difference between them should be less than of the threshold which i told you earlier like the delta which we decided as 12 a target is within this range okay within this range is there any value which is less than 12 or not this is indirectly we are uh, talking about the t okay so the closest pair of points is the application of sorting uh, these are what exactly i told you for algorithm what we are exactly finding out s is a set of uh, points t is a threshold which we decided earlier for that we are just taking all the elements or all the points written there within the set okay that should be sorted once we are sorting all the points indirectly what we are doing like we are trying to find out the measurement of the points which are present there so for sorting the complexity it will take n log n 
by default we are finding there also so i may forget to write the divide and conquer approach if you are finding the divide and conquer approach we are expecting the n log n time instead of getting n square okay we were getting n square as a brute force approach if you are using divide and conquer we are getting n log n time which is no doubt it is less than n square which is our brute force approach okay so that's why we are using divide and conquer here we sort it okay once we sort it we got all the points in a sorted way next what we did like we are finding the minimum which is less than t okay it, it might take big of one okay or you can say if, if it is from one to n like we are trying to find a minimum you can take it as n but no doubt the time complexity exactly we are finding as this one means it is written like is with minimum with a range it is written maybe you can think within a for loop the if condition is written this is our if condition algorithm is written as a you can say it's a pseudo code through which we should have to analyze okay so as per this one you can say it's a if condition for us if condition is taking big of one and this is a range given to us through which we can expect might be a for loop is expected as a for loop if you are taking the for loop the range is from 1 to n so you can expect us big of n so no doubt the complexity if you can add with n log n plus big of n definitely you can say out of these two complexities you can pick the largest upper bound of the problem this is what we are expecting and this will give us the correct result using the sorting techniques okay so whatever written on the right hand side that you know that one okay means you know how to sort it using sort you're finding the closest pair of words this is what the reduction is reduction is not from the scratch you know something through which you are enhancing your skills to resolve other problem clear so I hope it is clearly understood by you. If any doubt, please comment below. Thank you. Have a good day.